Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us on NBC 4 at 5 o'clock. I'm Brad Johansson. And I'm Darlene Hill. Casey Goodson Jr., remember that kid? His family says he was just holding a sandwich. He was shot and killed by a deputy who was not wearing a body camera because Franklin County deputies are not yet equipped with them. Remember this man? Andre Hill, shot and killed by a Columbus police officer who failed to turn his body camera over. Now, these are just two cases that have fueled a movement, a movement for greater accountability for all law enforcement in Ohio, and Governor Mike DeWine seems to agree. NBC4's Adrian Robbins is live at the State House to tell us how the governor is now involved in this movement and pushing for body cameras. Adrian. Well, Darlene, Governor Mike DeWine is saying that we should spend $10 million on this new project. He said it's his goal to have every officer in Ohio have a body camera. He says it's good for the public and good for the officers. They encourage transparency and can help ensure accountability. The public has more confidence and trust in the criminal justice system when officers are wearing them. At this time, around two thirds of the state's law enforcement departments do not have body cameras. One big reason, money. But the problem is cost. And the cost is what has slowed this increase in body cameras down dramatically. In the governor's budget, there's a $10 million grant program for body cameras. Departments could use the money to buy cameras, pay for storage of video, or even hire someone to answer the public records request. The governor says they would like the departments who get the grant to also accept the state's protocols. There is a protocol. Uh, the protocol includes when you turn a body camera on. But Representative Erica Crawley says more needs to be done to ensure the cameras are turned on and officers are held accountable. I think that we need to, as a legislature, stipulate what happens and there should be some penalties when police officers or peace officers do not turn on their body cameras. Other parts of the budget include money going to stop the rise of violent crime that we're seeing statewide. We're going to have more on that coming up at 6.